Hello boys and girls, it is time for our math lesson. As you can see, I'm back in the basement, but I brought my whiteboard with me this time because um, I'm working with water again, so I want to make sure I don't spill it in my little classroom um, so it's safer to have it down here. So we are going to talk again about measurement. So yesterday we were using cups, just a little cup that I had in my kitchen. Today we're going to be using measuring cups. So we're going to be using um, this one and this one here. Now these, whoopsies, now these have, this is one cup. This is measured one cup. So it's a different amount than the little cup that I used yesterday because that was just a random cup. It wasn't measured or anything. It just helped us figure out how much uh, water different items can hold. This is an actual cup measure, okay? So when I say one cup, it's this much. It's a little bit different than yesterday's one cup. All right, just want to clarify that. So for today's activity, we're using water again, as you can see, and we're going to be talking about a cup and a pint. Pint. That's a long I, even though it looks like it should be a short I sound. It's the long I sound. So we're going to be looking and comparing cups and pints. Okay, so here is my one cup measure, and then this pint measure uh, if you look at the red line right here, I don't know if you can see that super well, but the red line at the top, right below the words, that is one pint, okay? So, we get even closer. That top red line is one pint. So which one do you think holds more? One cup or one pint? I did that wrong. One cup or one pint? <laughs> there we go. Which one holds more? One pint, right? I mean, you could fit the whole cup inside there. All right, but let's see if we can figure out exactly how many cups, measuring cups, would fit in the pint. All right, so I'm going to put this guy, actually we'll move him right here so we can see him. Let's see, fill up our one cup measure. Come on, get it all the way. There we go. All right, so just one cup, does that get us all the way to the top line? No, all right, one cup gets us closer, but not all the way there. All right, let's see where we go with two cups. Are we about at the red line? I know it's moving around a lot, but yeah, we are about at the red line. So two cups of water equals one pint. Let me write that down. Here's my marker. Two cups equals one pint. Two cups equals one pint. All right, so then did we figure out which one holds more? Yeah, we figured out that one pint holds more because instead of needing like two containers to hold this, it only requires one, right? So this is one pint and this is one cup and we can even see um, putting them next to each other. We saw like before, we can see now that one pint holds more. What if we did it backwards though? Let me put my one cup right over here. So we have one pint. Let's see, let's start filling up our cup measure. Let's see, don't spill. All right, so here's one cup. Did we use all the water? No. No, we did not use all the water because uh, one pint does not equal just one cup, right? All right, let's fill it up again and see what we get. Ooh. Oh, perfect. So that was another cup. So one pint equals two cups. Okay, boys and girls, one pint equals two cups. Repeat after me. One pint equals two cups. All right, so I want you to remember that because we're going to be also talking about um, quarts tomorrow. So we're going to add another measurement. So I want to make sure that you know that one pint equals two cups. All right, so if I had three cups of water, if I had three cups of water, and I had one pint, 
Which one's more? Which one is holding more? The three cups, because only two cups equals one pint. So if I have three cups, that means that I have more water with the three cups than with the one pint, okay? What if I had one cup and one pint? One pint holds more, right? Because two cups equals one pint. Not one cup, two cups. You need two cups to get the same, to have the same amount as one pint, okay? So you actually do not have a worksheet for today. It's really just this video and um, reviewing that. You can even see if your parents have something like cup measures and um, I need to stop hitting this bowl before it breaks. Um, but you, need, you can see if your parents have cup measures and would let you use water or maybe sand or something to also measure this out. So measure out two cups and put it into a container that equals one pint to see that they are equal. Then you can do it backwards. Start with one pint and then do one cup, do another cup to see that it equals two cups. All right, so if you have um, items that you can use at home and if you have your parents' permission, then why don't you try it at home since we don't have a worksheet for today. All right, so boys and girls, that is all for today. Remember, two cups equals one pint. Good job. All right. Excellent work today, boys and girls. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon.